All right, so if this video gets anywhere from 2,000 to 3,000 likes and let's say 500 comments, we'll get him back on a part two. So. What's up guys, welcome back to how to teach a McDonald's employee part two. Well, McDonald's, right? If you guys haven't seen part one, make sure to go check it out. Like the amount of love, the amount of energy I got from my last video is just insane. Like I've never gotten that much energy in my DMs and the comments and the like, like it's just insane, right? Like the things that I got in the comments privately is like insane. And due to all of your guys' feedback, not only am I doing part two with Josh now, but I got something coming for every single one of you guys. Same way how I'm giving back to Josh right now, I'm gonna do it to every single one of you guys. I found a new passion, like a new pleasure with inside of me, and it's like giving back to you guys. Because one thing is like, this lifestyle, like my normal, whatever, the partying, the cars, like the money, like all of this is like my normal, but giving somebody else a taste of it, it gives me a different type of pleasure seeing them, like seeing their smiles, seeing how that like, now they're motivated to continue working towards the goals or whatever the case is. Like that is my new passion. And honestly, like you can, I can legit change somebody's life completely just by giving them a taste of what is possible. So that is my new drive now. So I got something coming to every single one of you guys watching this video. Obviously, if you want to put in the work, um, where I'm going to give you guys every single one of you guys a taste of what it is in this lifestyle, what is capable of obviously consistency. So um, we got Josh now. Uh, I told him to pull up to the level of HQ, but then I had remembered, I was like, oh, like last video when you pulled up, he was like all oh, sweaty and dirty from work. So I'm like, bro, go home. Don't even worry about it. I'm going to go pick you up the shower. After I pick you up, we're going to go back to the level of HQ. And then I'm just going to show you kind of what I figured that I left out on the last video. Because I feel like the last video, we went straight into technicals, which is good because obviously like without seeing the charts, you're not going to do anything. Like, you need to know how to properly read the charts. But there's five key principles that you need to know before you get into the charts to obviously succeed in trading. So that's exactly what I'm going to teach you in this video. So make sure to watch the video all the way to the end. If you guys like, trust me, all you have to do in this video is just like comment and subscribe for either a part three i definitely want to do a part three with josh but before the part three i want to give back to you guys so like exactly what i'm doing with josh to every single one of you guys all you have to do is like comment and subscribe literally so now we're gonna go pick up josh take him back to the level of hq i think it's his first time in a lambo i don't think he's ever been in a lambo in his life um so we're gonna go crazy i don't have a gopro outside it's kind of whack i wanted to get like speed the traffic and stuff so after that we're gonna go to the hq and i'm gonna teach him the five things that he needs before the technical like they're, they're very key principles oh, <laughs> shit. Good, bro. Good. Good. Really yeah, i look he was like yo how's this guy gonna pick me up <laughs> <laughs> Is like the park, yeah, for like 130, 140. This guy's like sweating. What do you mean 130, like, like, kilometers. So, update on the certificate wall. Um, last time you guys were here, it was empty because we were working on it. Then it got full, but we've been putting like some loud ass music, and I guess the, the tape isn't sticking. So, some of you guys have leveled down. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, but we will make sure you level up again. Let's show them, show them that. Sorry guys, but trust me, I will make it my power. My what? Would I make it my what? My duty, my duty. My duty, so you guys level up again. Um, all right, you ready? So last time we had here, Josh, kind of like I already told you guys, like we took him straight to the technicals, which is dope. Obviously you need to know technicals, how to trade, but like there's a couple key factors like before you trade that you need to have. Like it's like before you go to, to, to battle, like you need to have your specific gear, then you're ready to fight. It's kind of the same thing. Like we're gonna armor him now with the things he needs in order to succeed. So when he could goes out to battle, he has the right strategy on how to 
shank somebody or whatever. Oh yeah, tell them about the trade. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, pretty much, it was like it was a very simple trade, and I had some hints and clues from like looking over what was going on with the stocks. Like I was able to go through the news or whatever. And um, I just had noticed that it was bouncing off like a certain resistance point. And so in that, I was just looking for what he showed me. And I kind of wanted to take what he showed me and show you guys that it's possible. So I wanted to apply it into my own, like, you know, my own portfolio, my own uh, way of working. So I went ahead and I looked for exactly what he showed me, which was previous resistance point. Uh, following trend and then obviously uh, buy-in signals or uh, for in this case it's uh, bear, uh, bearish engulfing and I found every single one so I took the trade but unfortunately I put my stop losses too short so when it came back to retake regain uh, buyers it stopped me out so but but the trade did fall through and it did go as planned so i'm happy about that and it made me more confident all right you know? shit happens we'll get you to not miss those trades yeah all right so now that we're here at the computer we're gonna set him up with like the gear that he needs in order to succeed right and like he has no idea what i'm about to give him um he's like you're like what are we gonna film so like i'm prepared i'm like bro don't worry about it like just natural this shit out right so First things first, um, this is the uh, broker that I use and um, I'm gonna be funding him a thousand dollars, right? So I'm gonna be giving you a thousand dollars to trade. Completely all on me. Like, so you can blow that shit. You can't, don't withdraw it. Like, don't go to the strip club with it. I'm, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> okay. nah, nah, nah. Just, I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars and then you do whatever you want with it, right? So then, this is the broker that I use, but like the broker that I use is gonna credit him, right? Cause then you guys ask me like, how do I get access to a lot more capital? You could either go the funded route or you can use the broker that I use. And then if you sign up with the link below, um, they give you access to a credit. So now I'm gonna give him now a thousand dollars and then the broker is gonna credit him 50% from the thousand. So now you're gonna have a total, like a total of like a thousand five hundred completely for free. So I'm gonna give you a thousand. The broker is going to give you um, 500 bucks extra, okay. right? The only way to do it is you have to sign up through the link on there. Um, you go to open up a live account. You select whatever account you want, MT4, MT5. And then when you go to continue, you select whatever size you want. And then, um, oh wait, you have to go back to category. And it has to be MT5. You click continue. And then you have to click bonus account. So in this bonus account, you just you know do whatever leverage you want, whatever the case is. You can see right here, the first transfer of your account, you receive 50% to match this to credit, whatever. So I'm gonna deposit you $1,000 into your account. Um, I'm gonna put you at a one to 500 leverage. So basically like you're 1500 bucks, like you can trade like if it were to be a lot more, which is crazy. It's not like stocks because when it's stocks, like they cut your leverage, you need to have a lot access to a lot more capital. So the only way to do this is you guys have to sign up to the link below and then you basically do your whole entire KYC procedure, whatever. And then they give you access to this bonus account. If you guys need any help, if you guys want more bonus, just go to the live chat and just type FX Alex G um, and they'll help you out. So this is first things first. So you're gonna have a free thousand dollars to trade, like completely on me, right? And then 500 on the broker. But then like, I feel like trading is hard and then it's going to get to the point where like like you're still learning right yeah. in order for you to make money on by yourself it's going to take you i would say like definitely like i'm shorting your learning curve by like a year or two, like 100 okay. like 100 percent. so let's give it another year is what you're saying so I, I i say maybe like q3 of next year okay so that's maybe like six to eight months you could do this shit on your own like yeah. completely on your own so yeah. now I'm gonna set you up with the account. Like you're gonna have the money, but obviously I don't want you to go in and like blow it. Correct. So I have signals. So okay. like you can literally like copy the trades that I take. So I'm yeah. like on a winning streak right now, like two week winning streak. Um, I've made about like 25%, like I'll pop up a screenshot right here. 25% in two weeks, so let's do the math. So let's say if you would've just copied my signals from the 1500 bucks that I'm yeah, gonna well, give I can, you. I can do a math for you. All right, so what is it? It'd be uh, 200, 250, that'd be uh, $325. All right, let's, let's make sure. No, $275. 12 times 25%, 375. Uh, yeah, I said, you okay. terrible, man. No, oh. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Damn, I had that close. <laughs> yeah, I know. So if you just 
copy my signals, like you're gonna make free money. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna throw you in the chat. Um, there's a free app, so pull out your phone. So you download the Damn, free app. Damn, I left my phone oh, in, you left in the car. Yeah, when we were, when we were hauling ass, like slip that out of this pocket. So I'm gonna, set, I'm gonna set you up. So first things first, I'm gonna give you the, the, the 1500 bucks. Completely on me, I got you. Second thing is I'm gonna set you up with the signals because I don't want you just to like go on here and just take a couple of trades and then blow, blow it. Yeah, for sure. sure. That's pointless. Like I want you to make money from the money. So step two is I'm gonna give you access to my signals for free. That like you can just go on there. I'll show you how to set up everything. You know you're gonna. Aren't you starting a signals group this week? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I would be. Involved. Yeah, so you're already oh, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're already in there. So I mean, you're good. Like I, like I just I'm gonna get your email, get your access to the signals, and then step three, like. When you're copying these signals, obviously like when we go over to like trading view and mm -hmm. then like I want you to whenever I send a signal group, I mean whenever I send a signal in the signal group, I want you to go to the chart, whether it's on your phone or whatever the case is, look up the pair and I want you to take a screenshot of the trade. When you take a screenshot of the trade within the app, there's a section that is like a kind of like your own, you could journey your own trades or like you build your own track record, whether you take the trade or not. So in the app, I want you to take a screenshot and then you need to journey your trades because if you're not journeying them, like you're not going to learn from your mistakes. Yeah, you, you have, have to go me. back and look exactly. Mm -hmm. Like, so every single time you take a trade, you're going to screenshot it and put it in your journey. So then whenever you're done with the signals or you want to start taking your own trades, you look back and you're like, holy shit, like we've been taking the same trade time and time after again. Kind of like how you mentioned that you took your trade. Yeah. So it's basically the same thing, right? So that'd be step three. So first thing, the money. Second thing, I'm gonna make you money by just copying everything yeah. that I do. So if you guys wanna get access to my app, it's just literally click the link below or search it up. It's on the Apple Store or on Android. It's just Swing Trading Lab, it's free. I drop a free signal in the free uh, section every once in a while. There's a positions guys cal calculator in there, uh, stuff. Um, so three is, bro, I'm telling you, you gotta journey your trade. Like, probably like one of the things that set me aside was like for myself, right? Like I don't really compete with anybody or at least I don't anymore. Like I don't compare myself to anybody anymore. Like I just look at myself. Like I look at my results and who I am as a person every single two weeks. So I'm like, all right, how much of a shitty person was I this week? Yeah. How much of a good person? Yeah. And every single week I try to get better. That's why I'm doing videos like this, you know, trying to help you out like the best that I can. Cause I want to like, not only improve me, but try to improve people around me. Like it's like a new form of pleasure to me, yeah. and, which is like, yeah. you know, dope. So it comes to the same exact thing where you're training. Like if you're not draining the trade you're taking, then it's how do you know you're getting better or not? You get me? Like, for example, let's say right now, you work your electricity job, right? Yeah. So you said you have a boss. Yeah. Okay, is there somebody above your boss? Yeah, the owner. So then it's you, the boss, and the owner. Well, it's me, the guy who kind of runs me, tells me who to work with, and then the boss of like the construction site, and then the owner. Okay, is there anybody under you? No, like, not yet. For example, when, when you do electricity, like does anybody have to set anything up for you? Um, like, no, is, we're actually the ones who set up things for okay. everybody. Else. Okay, no. So when you fuck up at the bottom, yeah. there's somebody holding like, you got people on top of you holding you accountable, right? Yeah. Okay, when it comes to trading, you are every single person in yeah. that chain. Like you have to hold yourself accountable for everything. For example, let's say right now in trading, there is a section. So what's what's your section in your job? Like what do you do? I'm an electrician. Okay, so but, but like- Electricity is like baseline. Like okay. you're a worker, employee. Yeah, but like, like do you set up cores? Like what do you do? So run wires, bend pipes, kind of set everything up and then kind of they'll come look at your work but they tell you what to do. Like, oh, I need this pipe thrown here from here to here. I need this pipe thrown into this into this box with uh, three live cables, uh, obviously a uh, ground and a neutral. So then after you do the work, somebody come in and supervises? Correct, them? you would come and look at it. And then what is the boss? And then the boss kind of like if this would the yeah then the boss would review it but the boss wouldn't review it right away he mm -hmm. would kind of look at your work when when uh, when before inspection or before something like and then the owner just doesn't do shit no as <laughs> old <laughs> yeah okay so you see how there's a chain to everything for sure do. so when it comes to trading there's the same exact chain just you're the only person who's gonna hold yourself accountable for everything so let's say you fuck up right now and you don't put the ground then the positive negative Correct. whatever and you fucking electrocute everybody and you just zap the whole place <laughs> you just zap the whole place they're gonna like, like you're done they're gonna cut yeah. your head off in trading 
there is the same exact precaution just you're not gonna zap anybody's head off you're just gonna blow your account or you're just gonna like do damage to your psychology because there's nobody on top of you holding yourself accountable yeah so you need to play every single one of those roles to trading so when it comes to trading plan you're holding yourself accountable when it comes to risk management you're holding yourself accountable when it comes to entry signals you're holding yourself accountable when it comes to holding the trade you're holding this yourself like there's so many people yeah. like i mean there's so many things you have to do that's why as a trader it's very hard is that where your strategy like comes yeah, yeah so like having your strategy like just shortens all of that shit and then it just puts everything in one and then like you need to understand that you're that one person yeah you know i mean people don't understand that and that's why like the community like the community just thought that's so we like that's why we're building level up because then we want to have a person for every single one of these things so it's not too much on one person like trading alone is very hard right so i'm just like telling you everything that i'm gonna set you up now it's just gonna be easier for you to manage all these things yeah but you need to journey your things yeah. well journeying it i'm telling you bro it's gonna be very difficult and then the last thing which is going to be point number well not the last thing the point number four is going to be the candlestick buy right it's kind of like what i was telling you earlier in the car like reading the market is cool but then you need to learn how to like for example when you're journaling your trades you're going to notice time and time again like you're like damn bro like alex took the same trade every single day at the same time with the same candlestick and if you notice, if you read the candlestick Bible, there's entry signals. There's certain rejections, certain engulfings that I look for in specific time frames. That the only way you're gonna know it is obviously if you're journaling your trades. But before you journal them, you gotta learn how to read them. So I'm gonna give you access to the candlestick Bible. Which and the kind of, it, it helps you what like, read candlesticks. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, look, let me show you like kind of like a little sneak peek right here. Candlestick. I think it's free, bro. I don't know why people like think it's all crazy. Candlestick Bible, right? So this is the Candlestick Bible book. Yeah, I think it's free. Like you can just preview it right here. But I'm gonna give you access to it. I have the PDF. I'm just gonna email it to you. This trade is honestly the trade that made. I mean, this is the the book that made me in trading because it teaches you how to read the candlesticks. Like, if you're not reading candlesticks, what do you do? Like this is something that I talked about in the part. Braja talked about. You could pop up like a little clip of uh, the. Like when Braja was talking about the pie chart, and you can throw indicators on the charts. No, you just gotta read the charts, right? Um, and then there's another book, which this for me honestly was the book that set me aside as a trader when it comes to psychology, and it's Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. Like you're not ready for this book yet, but you still haven't experienced like you know, like you're telling me you break controllers when you play COD. Yeah, when you blow an account, it's a lot worse, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like break my phone. <laughs> yeah, like you're gonna break your phone. You, whatever the your keyboard you're gonna break. So it's the same exact thing. But imagine a book that whenever you're playing COD or whatever, like it would teach you how to avoid that. It's the same exact thing. This book is the psychology of trading. For me, if you guys are kind of in that stage where you guys already have gone to the you know the Candlestick Bible, so on and so forth, this is your next book to to basically read. Like this is literally going to tell you how you feel every single day you trade and how to manage it so for me this is the book that i feel like you're not ready yet for i would say maybe six months in and you break a couple phones blow a couple of accounts mm -hmm. hopefully not the 1500 but this is going to be the thing that's going to set you aside so i mean these are four key factors that you need to trade you need capital to trade so i'm hooking you up and then the broker's going to hook you up as well signals so you start making money right away hopefully you get get the fuck out of electricity or work less you know work a little bit less yeah. um three you gotta journal your things without journaling you're not gonna know what you're doing wrong you're not gonna hold yourself accountable and then four set you up with the right book to read right because yeah. like, there's no point of reading a book that's not trading related like we're in the business of trading right and then for the fifth point which is um something different nobody's ever seen um i'm sure you don't know who doyle is right doyle yeah doyle so doyle is um he's a trader that he used to work at amazon so i'm uh, like like he, he's gonna pull up now like this guy is very known very famous as well on youtube like doyle is somebody that was working on amazon delivering things i believe correct me if i'm wrong and he just became a consistently profitable trader maybe like a year and a half two years ago he was living in chicago just doing his thing and now he's a full-time trader here in miami like full-time i think he worked at the airport something like that i don't know man my bad door i don't i don't really know man <laughs> but like to my point is he was just like a regular guy yeah, like yeah, yeah. so like i want him to come in and i just want him to talk to you like some psychology things or like some things that helped him leave work because i could talk to you about like my experience 
but I actually want to hear his experience because we're going to do a podcast now too. So you're going to get like the first point of view of the podcast. Right? So it's going to be it's going to be pretty dope. So um, those are the five things. Like, honestly, I want to do this to every single one of you guys out there. All you have to do is just like, comment, and subscribe. I want to do a part three with Josh. I want to say in like, like 30 days, right? Because this, this yeah, is- Yeah, for sure, like a month. Yeah, yeah, because that'll give you enough time to fuck up the account. Right? <laughs> yeah, and like, I, I, I've been researching Forex since I used to do stocks. And yeah. Forex, you can trade all day. Yeah. So all I do is have to set up a time period where I'm available. I mean, I am going to school and everything, but I can definitely set up, you know, some time aside to be able to sit down, place trades. And at work, I place trades sometimes whenever, yeah. you know, a trade comes up. I mean, the more volatile times are going to be New York and then London. It's going to be the two times where, like, the market moves the most. So London is, like, the middle of the night. New York is like beginning in the morning. So you could either get a trade before you go to sleep or one in the morning. Yeah. yeah and then you just let it ride all week. Yeah. Set and forget that okay. shit. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, well, I, I've been looking at you set and forget. That's a good thing. Cause yeah. like, I always put my stop loss and then I'm always like, check my phone, check my phone, check my phone. Yeah. I'm like, damn, can't put this shit down, bro. <laughs> just gotta set and forget, bro. It does me. Um, so yeah, Dora's probably gonna pull up in like 20, 30 minutes. We're gonna go play some ping pong while he gets here and um 30 days i'm gonna give him all of these you know tips i'm gonna throw him in the chat with my other traders and like guys just take care of josh because i really want to like i really want to see if like this one-on-one -on -one experience i can level you the fuck up yeah. you know what i mean and then i want to do it with a group of you guys as well so um stay tuned so let's wait now for dory to pull up so we can be dope with a group. yeah no yeah we're gonna do a group very soon very very, very soon yeah. and then i'm like oh like fuck man like this shit's getting annoying like nobody wants to make Two, three hundred bucks in like five minutes and then like, like nobody wanted to do it nobody. I'm, bro i'm like yo just come outside for five they, ten every, minutes everybody thought it was just camp yeah everybody thought it was, i mean bro i mean bro we're in a, we're in a rose royce in the middle of a drive through <laughs> with a big ass camera like this <laughs> like everybody's intimidated so then i was just like bro fuck man like i was literally gonna call it a day call it a video and then we're leaving uh starbucks drive through and i see this guy walking to the car i'm like bro that guy that's that's the guy that's this let's go and i'm like yo so I'm gonna make 200 bucks. Like, I mean, yeah, fuck it. And he just got in, bro. He's savage. No, bro. You see in the video, he's so nervous, he drops his whole fucking drink. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 oh, no. wait, so, 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 no, no. So I mean, like, I wanted you to give him some some tips, bro. Like, what did you do to get you from like Detroit to like now living in Miami? Like this different lifestyle from where you used to be living. So like, what was it that changed it for you? Because I already told him what I did, mm -hmm. but I wanted you to come in and then kind of give him like some tips. And I wanted him to have like front row seat of the podcast we're about to do. Okay. Your, your followers have been driving me crazy for the podcast, man. Like every single video I drop, get Doyle, get Doyle. I'm like, bro, coming soon, coming soon. Yeah, so this is the perfect time. So I mean, what would you tell to the boy Josh, bro? Um, well, what really like took my training to the next level was I mean, obviously I knew the strategy. Like, I had my strategy down back. Like, supply and man, that's my bread and butter. But it was really just me believing that I can do this like full time because you see people on the internet, they say, oh, you can do this, you can do that. But then when you be in like behind the chart by yourself, like it's a whole different, like, it's just completely different. So I really had to get my mindset right to like, okay, is this even possible? And once I um, saw that I was able to like double accounts, flip, uh, triple accounts, then I was like, okay, I think I can really do this full time. So it, it was really just me just getting my mindset right to be able to um, believe in myself. So you didn't you know? just like quit your job? Oh no, I didn't. No, what no. would you? Would, what? How? How do you make time to be? How do I make time? Yeah. Okay, so at first I was trading New York session. No, no, actually at first I was trading London session. And then I'm like, okay, this is kind of messing up my sleeping schedule. Now London session is around 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and. Um, it was hard for me to wake up and like focus on getting getting my trades in and like staying up the entire session. So I'm like, okay, I gotta make a sacrifice. So I have to go to second shift and trade in the morning. So that's literally what I did. So 8 a.m. to like noon, I would trade. I'll study a little bit after, and then after that, I go to work, get off of work around like midnight, study a little bit more, do it again. I had to just keep doing that so I can grow my account and um, add more money to it. So. 
Like, yeah, it, it was a grind, bro, but I just, I didn't have no choice. Like, it was either this or work a job, so, you know what I'm saying? But that's literally what I had to do. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And, like, and like, did you, did, when you, when you were, when you were doing that, like, when did it finally, like, you feel me? Like, all right, I gotta quit. I gotta go. Um, and when just, I was able to, like, get my account past, like, 40, 50,000 without me adding no money to it. Cause, like, like at first, I, I saved up, like, 15K. I was just trading, throwing money into it. I was in college at the time, too, so I was getting refund checks. I'm throwing that in there. I'm working. Like, I'm just saving my money because I, I don't really have a lot of bills. At that time, I was, like, in my apartments out in college. Yeah. It was, like, the expenses were super low, so I was able to save. So I was fortunate enough to have um, my bills be super low so I can save. So once I got 15K, I'm like, okay, can I double this? Can I make can I make it into 30K? Then once yeah. I got 30K, I'm like, okay, let me see if I can do this one more time without adding money to it. That was just the key. Like, can I just do this without adding no more money to it? So that's really what took me to the next level, me actually doubling my account. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I can do this. Yeah. Like, no yeah. cap. So I, I did like, kind of like a little like, like, like preview to like the podcast. Like why, like why Miami? Like why'd you come to Miami? Miami? Um, Cause like if, if Detroit's your hometown, why come to Miami? I mean, honestly, I just wanted something different. Um, I definitely came here to like network a little bit. Like, I just wanted to be around like-minded people like me because, I mean, I'm a day trader, but I'm really an entrepreneur. So like, I like getting into other stuff. So people in Detroit, it wasn't really a lot of people like that. Like, they really just wanted to work a job, so that's why I had to leave. Yeah. So like, it was just me. Um, it was a networking move for me, and I just enjoy Miami. Like, it's just lit being here. I just, I really just love being here. So for sure. Yeah. So then, what, what would you like? What would, what would you say is like the next step Josh should do now, right? So he's working right now, full time electrician. Mm -hmm. He's just been 15 days nonstop, nonstop. like no weekends yeah. off, nothing, right? I know. No weekends off. Today no. marks 15, day 15 to the end of this week till Friday. Friday will be my first day. Well, Saturday. So how are you gonna have time to yeah. study? Like you gotta, yeah. you gotta make time. Like yeah. it's no other way. So what are you gonna do? I mean, what 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 I've been doing for now is whenever I do have time at work, um, we get 15 minute breaks like every two hours type. Cause I work like uh, electricity. So I mean, some I do some people are under a union, and unions have to give you 15 minute breaks like every two hours yeah. or something like have to. So. Every time I have a 15 minute break, I just sit on my phone and watch like uh, the stop that I'm watching right now is I only focus on one stop because mm -hmm. advice I've taken from people is Google. So I just sit there and watch Google all day. Five minute chart, 15, 30 minute and four hours. So you're not, you're not really putting a lot of time into trading. Like yeah, and then I, I get home and I, I watch, I, I've gone over some of Havoc's videos. And so, so when you get home, how much time do you have? That's I put about an hour. Oh, oh, I have only an hour to put into it as of right one now. Hour? Yeah, because oh. I go to school. Also. Oh, you go to school too? Yeah, from six. So it's, it's tough. That, that's, yeah. why, that's why I'm just like, I don't know. Like, what, like, like, what is he I doing? I mean, an hour, like, that's really odd. Your window, you only have an hour. What else can you do? Like, you don't have, like, you gotta put time in this. So, yeah, yeah. if it's only just one hour, you gotta make the best of that one hour. Yeah. So, like, what what exactly are you, like, doing in that, that one hour? That's, that's what I was actually gonna ask Alex today, kind of how to structure my day about going, like, like should I should I go through my, my should I go through the stock that I'm watching? Obviously, I'm gonna try and go over the Forex as mm -hmm. Alex is gonna fund my account and stuff. Oh, okay. So, I funded it. I funded yeah. it. Okay. I gave it 1500 yes. bucks. So, I'm just like, blow that shit. Just fucking <laughs> burn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. But that's dope. Though. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna try not to. <laughs> just by the you feel me? Yeah. Yeah. I have lost a lot of yeah. money. So I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling him, like, it's, you're probably gonna lose it, but it's just, it's a learning curve. Yeah. So, like, even when you lose it, don't get discouraged. Yeah. It's gonna happen. Yeah. Everybody loses money. And I, I told him, I'm like, look, like, I want you to, because I wanted to read Trading in the Zone, but I'm like, you're not ready for that yet. Like, you don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Like, I'm just like, you're not, like, you don't understand what, it, like, the psychology part of it. He's only in it for, like, three, four weeks, maybe a month, mm -hmm. and with stocks, right? So, when we bring him over to Forex, oh, like, so it's a stock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. But he gets the technicals, though. Like, he, like, what, like we've been talking about just technicals and then like the technicals that i taught him he's been implementing in the stocks which is kind of cool i don't know you could you know yeah use the same strategy for everything yeah. um but like kind of what like i want to structure him now is like bro if all you have is like an hour a day just literally probably like you can't trade in an hour there's literally nothing you can do and probably the hour you have probably like sydney tokyo like there's not much movement so i would just say just like 
bro, literally watch every single video you can, yeah. just consume that information, and then just, because it's chart time at, at the end of the day. You get I me? Think you should get into swing trading. To swing trading? Yeah, because if you only have an hour, I'll well, be able to trade. That's, <laughs> like, that's what I've been doing. Oh, you, I so only you are take swing trades. Yeah. Oh, okay. I only take one to two day trades. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, he's a swing trader. Yeah, so yeah. 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 That, that, that work out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. <laughs> that I'm work out. Like this, it's gonna challenge. Bro. So now we're gonna do like a part three, but in 30 days. So we're gonna, I'm gonna give him everything, the 1500 bucks the account, everything, and then in 30 days, I want to see where he's at. Did you blow the shit? Have you gotten better? Like, talk to me now about trading. I don't want you. I don't want to talk to you about trading. Yeah. I want you to talk to me. So then we'll see kind of how that goes. So I mean, yeah. like, I mean, you know, if you got some time, I mean, so basically, what would be your best tip you could give him? Um. If now knowing what you know. So now he's got money. Okay, you got money. You kind of understand the concept of trading. Um, I would say give 30 minutes of watching educational videos and then 30 minutes of actually back testing the strategy that you're trying to learn. Because you only got an hour. So 30 minutes of watching educational videos and then 30 minutes of applying it, seeing like, can you see the setups? Or um, if you want to like simulate the strategy, whatever you use, like just simulate that. But that's really the all you're going to yeah, have yeah, to do yeah. is apply. Because it, like, it's, it's, you'll learn more when you actually trade yeah. when the market is open. But since you're like coming in and it's just going to be back testing and watching videos, it's going to be kind of hard for you, your learning curve to like accelerate. But like, you're going to be good though. But definitely like, I don't know how, you're going to have to change some schedule yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, like you're going to have nah, to. Nah. <laughs> like nah. you're going to have to, bro. The thing about school also is that I'd be like, I be on my phone, you know, just okay. going over. Oh, and I, I, I don't use my phone for like social media. Like if I'm on my phone, I'm either look, I'm dead ass looking at charts or just like watching like or reading. I like to read a lot of like mm -hmm. uh, the Wall Street Journal and stuff like okay, that. So okay. I'm always trying to like keep myself updated with what's going on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. You gotta utilize that one hour that you have. We'll see. We'll see what it is, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate yes, you coming in, jumping yes, in. The yes, sir. Bro, trust me. Like the pressure is on you. Yeah, bro. yeah. 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 I, feel I feel it. I feel it. I'm sweating. Hey, what's your name, bro? Josh. Josh. His name is Josh, bro. Y'all gonna see him in a few years, bro. He gonna really get it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So now, so now, you done to do the, the podcast now? Yeah, we we'll do. Do the podcast. All right, all right. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and then after we do the podcast, we'll go eat. And we'll get some shots of going to go. You want to race? You want to race? Yeah. <laughs> bro, man, come on. Now you're going to beat me, bro. Come on, man.